Sands is a proud sponsor of the Long Island Tea Podcast. With incomparable luxury, Sands leaves nothing to the imagination. To learn more, visit sandsnewyork.com. We are the Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea. It's true. Uh, We're from Long Island, so we say, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? We're in the middle of the vines. Yes. Because it's Memorial Weekend. So there's like... kickoff. We're here. It's summertime. Long Island Wine of the Week. I'm thankful for our hot teas. Yes. That's like such a Long Island thing. We're just talking about real life. Right. That's what we do. Welcome back. I'm trying not to laugh uh, to another episode of Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea on living your best life. I'm Kristen. And I'm Sharon. Welcome back. Welcome back. I was just, I just looked down at the notes right before, right when the music started. Right. And I was just, couldn't not laugh because the very first bullet point is last minute holiday stress. <laughs> Totally like uh, literally, literally, yes, a hundred percent. Uh, it was, I was just, I looked down, I'm like, that's hilarious because it's, it's funny because it's true, you it's, know what I mean? It's so true, it's, it's just, like, honestly, so how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? I've had a headache for two weeks, I know, I don't know, it's alarming. I feel like I should call someone, Dr. Reed, where are you at, girl? Dr. Reed, <laughs> Sharon has a headache, and I need Wagovi. <laughs> I need the zip bound. Or zip bound. <laughs> Come on, help Dr. us out. Dr. Reed. <laughs> we got two Where requests. are you? Oh, uh, by funny. the way, Dr. Reed is going to be back on the show soon because she told me she's got her next book coming out. Oh my gosh, that's I know. awesome. I, I remember her talking to me about it years ago, a couple of years ago, the the concept of it. And it's if it's the same, I, I don't know. It, it was an amazing concept. I love it was it. so smart. And uh, I'm really excited about it. And I think it's going to come out in March, she said. so. Wow, incredible. And now we need to talk to her and find out. She's got a lot of stuff going on. So still in touch with our lovely uh, official health and wellness ambassador, Dr. Michelle Reed. And if she could get me some Wagovi stat, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, and Sharon needs some Tylenol. And maybe, some, maybe some prescription strength. <laughs> It's Tylenol. This is where we're oh, at. Man. It's the holidays and it's cookie day. It's just cookie to make day. It, just to make it better. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's cookie day at just National Long Island. Cookie Day. It's also, it's also National, cookie, National day. cookie Exchange Day. Um, our team, of yeah. course, delivered yeah. like they do um, these little hand painted, beautiful. You have to see this on YouTube. It's cookies. It's unbelievable. I mean, some of them went all out. And some of them did like I did and went and got Pillsbury peel and pull yeah. away. Well, listen, <laughs> Put it's, it a, it's, a well call it day. it's a well-rounded <laughs> team. Well, what happened was I literally remembered at like nine o'clock and I had it on my calendar mm -hmm. all day. Make cookies. Nine o'clock last night. I'm like, mm, that's what I forgot. So what did I do? I went to King Cullen and I'm like, Pillsbury will do. And um, funny story. Uh, I, Pearl went with me and she's like, can I help you make the cookies? And I said, of course. So we're making the cookies and they're done. And I was like, for helping mommy making the cookies, you are more than welcome to indulge and have a cookie yourself. So I got them off the cooling rack, paper towel, and <laughs> handed her a cookie. And I walked away and I was cleaning up the dishes and I hear her talking to Dan and she's like, dad, what's wrong with the bottom of these cookies? Oh no. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? She's like, they're all brown. Oh, God. <laughs> Definitely burnt six out of the 12 that come in the pack. So um, the team. What is your deal? I Thomas was telling me, because uh, I was traveling and he was like, I caught up on the podcast and you didn't tell me that Sharon ruined her turkey using the bag <laughs> that we told her about. I'm like, I'm sorry. I Listen to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, I was like, and then it. it became our whole dinner conversation. Everyone's like, what happened? Oh, and are like, what? And they're like, how did she run? I'm like, she didn't read the instructions at all. Like there was <laughs> no timing. All. There was, a, and they were like, what? <laughs> how did, how, who uh, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I don't read the instructions or cook the turkey. So, right. It's funny. Or, or bring cookies. I didn't right. bring any cookies. Right. Well, there's a reason for it. Why? Cause I just got back. No. Well, yeah. Okay. Cause I don't call do it that. Yeah. You said. Yeah. You, you really have like no, PTSD this, no. okay. from cookie this, exchanges. <laughs> this this is exact reason. Right. Okay. Right. This if you look at these cookies, 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, I love the homemade ones that are like, you know, you can tell that they're like a Paulina was laughing. She's like, these are because we're like, these are beautiful. This one's amazing. And Paulina's like, aren't these beautiful? <laughs> these chocolate chip cookie, you know, and I was like, and to me, she's they so are. They're going to taste. She's so funny. I love her because she's she always comes across like you don't know if she's joking she's or not. She's European, like, <laughs> so she's got this very dry sense of humor and it's funny. And I then she's it. like, I first made snickerdoodles. And I'm like, what are those? And then she showed me they're the ones that like have like the Hershey kisses, not snickerdoodles, but something. And they have the Hershey. They're called, Emmeline called them something because that yeah. was what I was going to make originally. And I said, and she goes, here, here's the picture of them. And I was like, oh, those are cute. What happened? Where, where are they? And she goes, well, they're, they were disgusting. <laughs> so I had to throw them away. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, they look fine. And she's like, no, I forgot. Definitely. I forgot something in the recipe and they were, so they were disgusting. I had to throw them out. Yeah. Aww. But no, I, I, so forever ago, forever ago, um, my best friend, Jay, as you know, mm-hmm. she's from Iowa mm-hmm. and she very lovingly brought me into her friend group which a bunch of wonderful women all from Iowa, like okay. that all lived in Arizona now. And I loved them and they were so fun and they allowed me to come into their annual holiday tradition of cookie party. Okay. And it was a whole thing. Like you go over to different people. It's hosted at different houses every mm-hmm. year. Someone signs up to host it and it's, you know, you drink wine and you exchange cookies and it was a major ordeal. I had no idea what I was walking into. Right. I'd never been to a cookie party. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, you know, domestically inclined <laughs> and I go there with, I think I forgot, right? The last, the first time I went, so I was like, totally forgot. Thought it was like no big. We're like, going to go drink wine. wine. Yeah. yeah, we're going to drink wine. So I think I stopped at like, you know, the store mm-hmm. and brought some cookies. Let me tell you, it was like this. It was like these cookies, handmade, hand painted mm-hmm. sugar cookies, the most intricate things. And they all brought these uh, wonderful um, like containers, tins, beautiful yeah beautiful decorative containers. And then you go around and you fill like multiple different plates or containers and you make them with all everyone. And then you just give them to the teachers or your neighbors yeah. or whatever. I brought nothing. I, I, I didn't know. No one told me this. Right. Right. So I had store bought cookies and no, and I had to borrow everyone's containers cause I had no idea what was happening. I was like, I, I'm like, I don't need anything. And they were like, no, you can oh, borrow God. ours. Cause we're so nice. We're from Iowa. You know, they're yeah. all like the nicest people ever. Right. And so it really bothered me. Mm, uh, mm-hmm. And they, they kind of made fun of it, right? They were like, oh, there's Kristen and she doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and so then the next year I came back with a force. Mm. I, I became, because I'm competitive psycho. Right, right. So I became obsessed and I made these, I made these mice cookie. That look like, they look like live little mice mm. made with cherries and all, like sliced almond ears. It was like literally. It sounds amazing. It took me. You won't even know I'm the sure. stress. I'm sure. And then the next year, oh, I won. And then there was a winner. Oh, that kind of competition. That, yes, there's a winner. And uh, so I won. And the next year I did the melted snowman oh. cookies. And then I became obsessed. And then, yeah. And then I think I was getting a divorce the, the fourth year or whatever. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And so my French brother-in-law. He was like, I will make you cookies. <laughs> he's like a ba- he's like an incredible chef. So he made like macarons or something amazing. Oh my gosh. And I passed them off as mine and I, I still it. won the 30. But it was uh it was very stressful. And it to me, it was like I became obsessed with making the most beautiful cookies and I did not have nearly as much fun drinking wine and chit chatting. Right. Because <laughs> you know, so that I was like, never again. I'm never gonna be get but you get in the friend group and I wanted to see everybody. Right, right. I want exactly. I love these ladies. You don't get and to I, see them. And yeah. I wanted to go. Yeah. So I succumbed to this cookie. And then it took torture. over your world. <laughs> and then you look, look at these. I know. First of all, uh Emmeline's cookies. Yeah. Her Discover Long Island cookies. I know, little snow globes. We could sell these. I know. Allison's like, I'm thinking All of gala these next year. Oh my God. I mean, she, we could literally sell these. Mm-hmm. Um, they're incredible. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. And then did you see, did you see Chris's cake? Yeah. What in God's name was that? <laughs> did you see it? I, I, I just went and it was like half eaten and I'm like, please tell me someone got a picture of this. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got plenty of pictures. I don't even know what that was. It was, I'm like, who made this? It's a Christmas wreath. It looked like it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Chris brought that. And I'm like, Chris bought that. No, he made it. And they're like, no, 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 he made it. Yeah. 
It had we'll, a, like, we'll put pictures up on our social media because you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. It had like a brownie. It was a brownie base and then snickerdoodle cookies around it. Snickerdoodle. That's the word I was looking for. That's why you were thinking of snickerdoodles before. Um, And then I don't know what the little um, red thing was. Chris, you have to tell us. So what were the green? The the leaves were cookies, right? Yeah. What? And those were brownies on the bottom? Mm -hmm. It was gorgeous. I know. How long did that take? I don't know. He's listening. (laughs) I was... Come on. (laughs) I was like, what... The heck is I've never seen, I've never seen like that. Chris is listening. Is he listening? Yeah, he's coming. Chris, how long did that take you? Not that long. Such really? As, like no. three I hours, don't four you. hours, a couple hours. And then he put like um, chocolate Twizzlers. And Where did you get this recipe, Chris? I was just winging it. What? Yeah. Are you? Do you love to cook and bake? He does no. love to cook. Jeez, how do I not know that? He likes to smoke things. Okay. In a smoker. <laughs> in a smoker. I was like, I don't know if I asked that question. Because, no. It, <laughs> hence the reef. Okay. Hence the, I was like, what? He to smoke Michael's dying. Smoker. He can't take it. He's like crying laughing. Well, you know what the wreath was, right? What? The, what the leaves were? Oh, is that what they, oh. <laughs> They're supposed to look like little hemp leaves. Yes. Oh, that's funny. No, I'm so dumb. Oh, I miss so all of that. I'm like, I'm the most clueless person when it comes. Oh I'm my like, gosh. oh, well, I couldn't believe that. But though. the intricacy of it was Chris, incredible. How are you single? You cook, you bake, you build things like this incredible studio. You get puppies. <laughs> Your puppy. How's Bodie doing? He's good. I mean, he's a four four month old maniac. Yeah, yeah, of course. So that's cute. Chewing on everything under the sun. Oh, my God. So. Mm, don't miss puppies. That's puppy Chris, life. what dating apps are you on these days? <laughs> Zero. Why? We're pimping him out. <laughs> I'll never forget. You know, Michael wasn't here um, when Chris told his first dating holiday oh, story. Were you right? here? Do you remember this? I heard it. Oh, my God. When the woman this sang Old Anxiety to the entire restaurant. That is my still favorite I dating story. I love that story. I I need more of those stories. Mm-hmm. Can you get back on the dating app, Chris? Well, they keep playing Santa Claus 2 now, so that yes. scene, it's like PTSD. Every time, <laughs> every time you watch it. Nope. Where the woman oh sings. That was, I had never seen that movie until Chris told me about that story, and then I literally saw that movie, and I was oh crying my laughing. Gosh, I felt like so I, funny. I felt like I lived the moment with him. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Chris, listen, you need to get back on the dating apps. Not for you, for us. We need to live <laughs> for, vicariously through that. For, oh my gosh, that's funny. Uh, okay, so it's cookie day, and we're gonna eat some cookies. Mm-hmm. And everyone like outdid themselves, and I just this is why I'm like this is why I can't participate because it will make my head explode. I know, I know, I hear you. But like some people didn't like they did store bought too, which is yeah. great. I love it. Well, and for some people, it's not that hard. Right. I mean, like Chris, like if you're, he's if like, you're I'm just inclined, gonna, yeah, like put Emily, it together, it, like Emily, I, some people. It just comes naturally. And they them. look forward to it. Right. right? Not, it They're doesn't like come excited. naturally to me. Yeah. And I'm like, every or person. You, based and, on your. <laughs> no. <laughs> every person was like, what are you going to make? And I'm like, I don't know. And it's funny because we, I do this uh, like Thanksgiving. We, we do this with my sisters. It's a tradition. Um, the men go hunting and we bake. I know how stupid that sounds, but. <laughs> Like no, it's very, <laughs> it's, you know, I don't know, whatever we bake. I was going to say patriarchal or whatever, but that's fine. So I made, <laughs> I made fudge. I made peanut butter fudge this year because that was at the request of mm. Dan. That was the most disgusting <laughs> fudge <laughs> tried. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to throw the mitten in. Oh, no. I'm what did you done. do wrong? Do you know what I you did know. wrong? I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah. Listen. Listen, Sharon, I used to we cook. Gotta stay in I our used lane. to be able to, like, be domesticated. I can't say that ever. No. I can't. No. We're busy. Yeah. Not that these people aren't busy. Right. Uh, but anyway, so, look, I'm just so impressed. I, I walked in and I was like, oh, my God. I know. It's uh, amazing. P.S. I just got a text from Kenzie and she's like, please. They been, They keep texting me. Her and Tegan now need an appointment with Kathy. Oh. Your sister. Okay. <laughs> Don't let me forget because I keep forgetting. And I have Kathy's card in my That's wallet. So I look at it all the time and I'm like, mm. Aw. anyway, so I need, I need help, Sharon. Um, okay. So what was I going to talk about on this episode other than what is it? Holiday stress. Are you uh, feeling holiday stress? Yeah. Maybe that's a headache. I don't Overwhelmed. Know. Overwhelmed. I was just talking to Michael before you got in here. And it's like, he's like, I feel very fulfilled this year. I'm ready for 2024. Because I said, I can't believe we're, this is our last episode. 
crazy. Right? Like, crazy. that's crazy. I can't believe we're on to 2024. Like, that's insane to me. Mm-hmm. I feel like... It's bizarre. It's bizarre. Although I already feel like it's 2024 because I've got so I know, much going on in 2024. So much planning, but... I keep trying to take the rest. It's so... I keep trying to take the rest of the month off. And, like, I... Because I... You know, you and I, we always lose our PTO days. Right, and we exactly. always tell the staff, don't do it. Don't lose your PTO days. And I try to take them. I know. But it, I tried to take next week. Nope. Nope. I have now Monday and Tuesday literally booked solid. Really? Yeah. In fact, I just had a lunch scheduled for Tuesday that I'm just, I now have to, I'm double booked. Nope. Now I have to cancel that uh, one and do another one. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I really was going to take that day off. Right. Um, and Wednesday I'm taking off, but that's a holiday party, but still. So I was like, I may as well work Wednesday too because right. I'm coming in. Right. We're going, you know what right. I mean? So I it's know. like. Well. I know. I literally, I'm trying to take days too. Same same thing. And I'm like. Yeah. I'll get on know. the call. Yeah. You're like, I'm <laughs> taking Monday, but I can get on that call. I'm like, okay, thanks. I need you. <laughs> I'm like, I need you on the it's call. so funny. I, you know, and that's fine. I yeah. mean, it's, no one's making us do, I mean, we could do it. Oh my God. I saw a TikTok because uh, I had a lot of plane time. And so I, instead of working. Because I was like brain dead. Right. I spent most right. of my on TikTok. Um, I saw a funny TikTok and it was like uh, EOD. Like when. <laughs> you sent it did to you me. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my did, God. Michael, this person. It's I was like a, dying. You can see these people on a Zoom and they're like, hey, I need that by EOD. And the guy goes, yeah, you'll have it by end of December. And, <laughs> and all, they were like, everybody's faces were like. There's one girl at <laughs> the bottom. She starts laughing and then just turns her camera off. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> I was like. And they're like, no, no, no. It's, it's end of day. And he goes, oh, I don't think I realized. They're like, we specifically talked about this. <laughs> and these, they were like, it, there's five weeks till right. the end of the year. They're like, this is not PTO. And she's we're like, still working. It's only three slides. And he's like, oh, I don't know if the team can handle it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it's probably fake. You oh, know? yeah. I think it's a fake. Oh, but my it God. Was but they well were seriously, d- like, uh, hilarious. EOD. End of December. You'll have it. They're like, no. No. That's five weeks away. <laughs> I'm in mm. today. Uh, oh, so, man. but that's how it is. It's, I'm seeing all the memes now that's like, this is, we're going to circle back in January. Yeah. 100%. Or, or like, is this a December email or a January no, email? No, is this now for sure. We, everything. No, mm-hmm. no more. No right. more. So I'm really glad this is our last podcast. It's, it's, it's been a great year. I'm loving it. Um, I just uh, got back from Tampa where I had a great board meeting with Des- uh, Destinations International. Excellent. I'm on the board of directors, mm-hmm. and so it was amazing. I get to, like, hang out. At, in fact, the chairman of the board is the CEO of NYC. Right. So I got to see – it's funny. I have to go to – Tampa. I, I have to go to Tampa to see him. Right. Um, but it was great. Got to catch up with a lot of people from around the country, a lot of vendors. And I got to say, like, I was telling you the story earlier. The, ch- the president of Destinations International, his name is Don Welsh. Mm-hmm. And he's just awesome – He's just one of the best people. Yeah. And it's so great to be involved in an organization and on a board where you really respect absolutely the organization and the organization's leadership. Mm-hmm. And he's just the greatest guy. He just had twin grandbabies. And so we sent them both you belong onesies. onesies. So and he was like, oh, telling everyone I love at it. the board, like, Kristen sent me the Long Island. Long Island was the first person to send me a Aww. gift. And he sent me pictures of them the wearing babies. them. Yeah, I'm so like, cute. You know I'm going to brand your children. Right. Obviously. So we're, we're here. We're for. Long Island. <laughs> Hello. Uh, speaking of recap from last week's episode, mm-hmm. we did a little shopping at the North Fork Company. Oh, I literally went home. We bought out. We bought out there. You Long mean Island. Michael. Yeah, literally bought out the North to Fork. To the point where I'm like, gallon. do you have, do you have this in the back? In yeah. this? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I think so. But I went home and I put the sweatpants on and yeah. I text you immediately. I'm yes. like, those sweatpants right. are everything, right? You've been living in them. I've been living in them. They're amazing. Sounds like, do you Michael, have any you should have gotten pants? some sweatpants. <laughs> There's, it's what, what it did. He's like, do you have any other? Yeah. Sweat- <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Too many, I know. No, I have too many No, pants Thomas said and, something like that to me the other day too, because I was gone for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh my God, where, what do you, you know, I, cause I, we were FaceTiming and I was like getting ready. He's like, oh my God, I love your outfit. It's so pretty. And I can't, I miss you. Come home. And I'm like, I was just home yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, you see me every day. And he goes, yeah, but usually, you know, when you get home, you're in bar <laughs> clothes or you're in those sweat in sweatpants. I'm like. Right. And then he immediately was like, but that's beautiful too. I'm like, mm-hmm. uh, that's so funny. <laughs> he's like, I don't get to see you all dressed up it's in true. your business yeah. outfits or you're like, cause we, there was a, re- a reception. So I was wearing like a cute little like re- reception outfit. Mm-hmm. And it was funny cause it was like a little black dress 
And I was in Florida. So I was like, this is the last time my legs are going to see the sun right. for like three months. Right, right. So they're out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm they're like, ready. I'm wearing a short little dress. Mm-hmm. But it was, he was like, I usually only see you. And, you're, and then he immediately heard himself. And he's like, but that's nice. It, well, it cracks me up because I'll walk in. Like yesterday, I was dressed up. And, and Shannon's like, do you have something going on today? And I'm like, no. People Why? Like, What's oh, going on? And she's like, well, what you're wearing, like, you look fancy. And I'm like, I just needed to feel for myself yes. today. Sometimes yes. you just need to do that. I said I have all these beautiful clothes and dresses, and I, like, never have places to wear them because mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. – I mean, we, when we go to receptions or just like work, you know, we're not, we don't go out to like fancy little receptions right, on right. the terrace overlooking the water. And In the, Tampa. Yeah. <laughs> where it's warm. Right. Um, being warm makes all the difference. Absolutely. Um, okay. So what else is he going to tell you? Oh my gosh. So speaking of the holidays, a mm-hmm. lot of stuff going on. And I saw this uh, story the other day on, I think it was the Today Show. And it made me think of you because I'm always talking, you know, it's the season, the holiday parties. Yes. Are you going to any holiday parties? I was supposed to, but um, I'm rescheduled, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny you say that, because a study just came out, and it's a study of personal psychology something something, okay? So you'll have to Google it. Okay. But This isn't says, the C-suite, so we don't need to be so protected. Correct. <laughs> correct. We can just kind of talk. Uh, the study says saying no to an invitation is fine. Yeah. You know, a lot of people commit mm-hmm. to going to parties, and it's almost New Year's too. So this is right. the same thing for New Year's. Yeah. Everybody wants to have a New Year's party. Like for me, I'm not leaving my house on New Year's. I hate to leave my house on New Year's. Scary. Unless like I I'm go scared. away. You know, like I like to go skiing on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Ooh. But um, other than that, I don't like to leave my house. To me, I don't want to be on the road. Right. Exactly. Anywhere. It's exactly. terrifying to me. I don't know why. I'm just like, this is how you know you're old. But um, but it says saying no is fine. Like there's this, Kinsey calls it main character syndrome. Mm. And it's when you think it's all about you all the time, which I was just like, that's so main character syndrome. I love that. Um, which I, it, I totally understand what that means. Yeah. But you feel a lot of people say yes to parties that they don't really want to go to or overextend themselves because they feel like I don't want to let that person down. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. want to disappoint them. Right. Turns out that people don't care. Right. People, they're just extending don't care. the invite. They're, yeah. they're just being nice to yep. extend the invite. If you can't come okay. for the most part, no one cares. Right. No one's really going to miss you that bad. Right. You're fine. Yeah. Okay, so this is what the study said is that they did this whole thing and turns out people don't care if you don't come to the party. Right. So you can say no. You can say no. And I love to say no sometimes. <laughs> Same. I love to be like. Can't do it. Nah. I say no all the Sorry. time. And you know, the other thing that uh, I heard people talking about, and I've, we've talked about this before, and I was hitting Thomas. I was like, see, it's not just me. Um, so even when I host a party, mm-hmm. um, I always like, I like to put end times do my friends used really? to always make fun of me. I'm That's like, so from this funny. time to this time. Yeah. Um, except for like, you know, our friends, the martinis come over and like New Year's or whatever. But I am notorious for going to bed at my own party. Escaping. Yes. I know you told me this. <laughs> I will immediately just, just go leave upstairs. Yeah. And I go upstairs. And you don't and even I say anything to, to Thomas? No. I, are you kidding? <laughs> Thomas. In fact, uh, they, they're on to me now. A lot of my yeah. friends. And I'll pretend like I'm going to the downstairs bathroom and I like go to the staircase and they're like, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm like, mm. just keep going. <laughs> I just, I just keep going. Well, I think there's some time. Like, and you I just, sleep like a baby. Yeah, I go like, up there and I sleep like a baby mm-hmm, and I don't, mm-hmm. my head hits that pillow, like zero guilt. I know. It's funny because like Dan does that too. Like he'll just, <laughs> he'll just go and, mm-hmm. and everybody's like, oh, he just went to sleep. Like they know, yeah. now they just know. Yes, people know. <laughs> like, and yeah. so I was watching it and uh there was a clip of Chelsea Handler saying that she was like, I go to my own party. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whatever, keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to bed. Right. I'm done. And Thomas was like, great. You and Chelsea Handler. (laughs) And then I saw Martha Stewart saying that too. Mm -hmm. She's like, when I'm done with the party, if I feel it, she's like, I just turn the lights off and go to bed. (laughs) She's like, she's like, I just turn the lights right off. (gasps) That's funny. Don't even care. And I'm like, see, it's not just me. I'm such a night owl though. Like I love, I, I, that's when I come alive. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Remind me to put the end time on my party when yeah. you come over. Cause I, or you can just hang out. I don't care. I'm like, like, people can spend the night. I don't, yeah. I, but I, there's can't, the couch. You're fine. I, cause I, <clears throat> if I stay up more than I should, mm-hmm. I'm not a nice person. Right. Right. I, I'm going to be cranky. Sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. And then I wake up early and everybody else stayed up t- drinking too long. Right. I'm up early. I'm like, do, do, do. Getting it's everybody gone. bagels. <laughs> I know. I'm like up, feeling fine. Oh my god! That's I can't funny. do it though. I um, I thought that was so funny. So, 
Yeah, so that is the going to bed early, and I wanted to let you know that it's fine to say no to a party or ghost your own party. Yeah, totally fine. I do it all the time, and it's totally, I mean, pe- people may not think it's fine, but it's fine for me. I love that. So, And it's so funny, actually, and I was going to ask you, because the holidays are coming, family mm-hmm. gatherings. Mm-hmm. Um, do your families have, like, inside jokes that you constantly bring up? Do you have, like, little sayings? I don't know. No, I no. don't think so. We have we have different ones each year um, that it'll be from a vacation we go to or somebody says something at a holiday party. Mm-hmm. And our most recent one, which I thought was really funny because families get crazy. I guess you're right. Yeah, we do. So I'll mm-hmm. tell you mine when you think of yours. Um, so my family, the, the, fun, the one that we always say is, you go to bed. <laughs> and it stemmed from, uh, I wasn't at this event, uh, but I heard about it enough that I use it all the time. And so- Two people in our family, one of them had apparently over been overserved. And her husband was like, you know what? You just you know, she was like overserved. That. Her husband was like, you know what? You should probably go to bed. Mm-hmm. And she's like, You go to bed. Okay. You need to go to bed. <laughs> so the whole family, we do that all the time. And we're like, you, you go, go to, to bed. bed. Oh my God, that's funny. And that's when you know you should go to bed. Yeah. When someone says you should go to bed and they're like, you go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no one has said it to me. I'm like, like cause you I'm, go to bed. I'm gone. Cause you know, you're like, all I'm right. like, thank you for the hall pass. I'm yeah. going straight to bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to bed. Um, oh so that God. that's one of what, do you have one? Um, no, I can't think of it. Like, like but that. I know what you're talking about. It's like not even, we have those funny little stories that you just say that when my little sister was looking at colleges, this is how long this ago, and we still still say it to this mm-hmm, day. Mm-hmm. Poor girl can never live it down. She was trying to decide between Pepperdine and Occidental. And we got, I took her to look at colleges um, in, in California. And so we were, I liked Occidental. She liked Pepperdine. And we we're having a whole family discussion, what she was going to choose. Poor girl still in high school. Now she's 40 something. Right. And we're still talking about right. it. And so somebody, I'll never forget, somebody was like, we were going back and forth, which one, which one? And she's like, I don't know. And we're like, if you had to decide right now, if you had to choose. And she was like, I really don't know. So we say that all the time. If you had to if, choose. Like, what's for dinner? If you had to decide right now, <laughs> what would you have? If we, freaking 20 years oh later, my God, we still that say is it. so funny. If you had to decide right now. That is hysterical. I know. I love it. But I love that you go to bed. Uh, and I know it, you go to bed. That's funny. I know. No, you go to bed. The other thing I was going to ask you is, and I think we talked about this on a previous podcast, but I think we cut it um, because it wasn't as pertinent. Do you have a code word? Oh, we cut that? Yeah. Um, We don't have a specific code word. It's mostly like, if I do that, you know, like. Yeah. Oh, if you do what? No, like if if I, you know. <laughs> what do you do? Sharon, I'm like, uh, <laughs> do you pull your ear? Yeah, like, like you know, or. You don't want to give it away. Right. You don't want to give no, it away, do you? Oh, because people That's listen. That's probably why we cut it. Oh, oh, because people listen. Right. Uh, I can tell you mine now because I don't care anymore and we don't go out. So, um, <laughs> but we, for a long time, mm-hmm. when my kids were smaller and we would do, you know, we go to events that are with our friends, but it's. The kids are like, we'll go because I, I would make them like, right. you have to come. Right. And so we had a code word when it was like anybody could use it because uh, we were talking. This was also on the Today Show or one of the shows because they were showing that movie Four Christmases. Mm-hmm. I love that movie. Oh, my God. Me too. I love and they that had movie. the code word mistletoe. Remember? Yes. They mistletoe. Like, <laughs> mistletoe. <laughs> mistletoe. <laughs> have you seen this movie, Michael? Oh, You've my God. You've got to you have it's, to uh, see Reese it. Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn. It's a cast of thousands. Like, I love Vince it Vaughn so much. It is hilarious. Mistle- so they had the code word mistletoe. So we had, it wasn't a code word. It was like a phrase. And, and we would say, uh, how about those jets? Yeah, how about those jets? Right? How about those jets? Yeah. Because when we moved to New York, we had to have one that like blended in with New right, York. Right, right. And so that was our... That was our code word. And it, it, I, it was really effective. We'd be at a party and Kenzie would come up. It only backfired on her once. She came up to me and she was like, I was talking to somebody and she's like, how about those jets? And somebody immediately like, you like the jets? <laughs> and started talking to her <laughs> about the jets. And she was like, I, no. No, I don't know I nothing about football. Uh, so <clears throat> that's I, so I think funny. that that's a nice little healthy tip. Get a get a code word before you go to the family, especially if you're in a new relationship mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you're feeling it out. So do you and Thomas like take turns driving to parties or do you like, how do you figure out who's going to be the designated driver? Thomas always drives. You're a lucky girl. <laughs> I do not drive. 
<laughs> you are a lucky lady. I w- that's why. We, uh, that's also probably why we don't go anywhere though, because then I'll be like, nah, we'll just stay home. Yeah. So Dan and I flip a coin. Okay. Every time. So yes. Before, before we determine the morning of, of it, like if we have to go out that night, we're like, all right, who's you know, mm. let's flip a coin. And so we were do we we're going somewhere recently this past weekend, I think his brother's house, and um, we were you know celebrating a birthday and stuff. So. Um, we flipped a coin and I won. And he, and I said to him, I'm like, I don't mind, you know, like, I don't mind driving on Christmas Eve. It's fine. You know, like, I like to come home and be Santa. Yeah. And I don't want to be like stumbling up the right, stairs. Right. You, know? you get too tired. And yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. Uh, you want to go to bed. Right. So he's like, uh, I think you're lying. <laughs> he's like, literally that day you're going to be like, no, I'm having wine with my sister. Is like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. So he's like, mm-hmm. we'll flip a coin then too. But yeah, we flip a coin. Yeah. And that's I always a, win. But yeah. That, that's a bummer. I have that's myself. a bummer. What, what yeah. Oh, wood? no. Oh, no. <laughs> knock on it. Knock on it. Yeah. Uh, no, Thomas always drives. I And yeah. every now and then I'll be like, do you want me to drive? And he's like, what are you saying? Right. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Because I, that's very I nice. hate driving. That's so lovely. Yeah. Well, but we also don't go out anywhere. Right. So don't get, don't get excited. <laughs> I'm that person that says no to parties. So uh, I, I was telling someone the other day, I was like, I'm pretty much like I'm borderline Howard Stern. Rick yeah. Loose. Yeah. Which is fine. No, I mean, no judgment. No judgment. Um, okay. So are you ready for Christmas though? No. Um, no. Like my dad comes the day this airs, he'll be here. Mm-hmm. And I'm still trying to figure out where anyone's sleeping. Cause we're right. going to have a full house again. You're going to have a full house. Exactly. Everybody's coming back. And I keep trying to figure out. When like, does Penelope get back? She Kenzie's gets back Friday. Back. Okay. So, so Thomas, I'll be working. Oh, uh, we have our retreat, right? right? So I'll be busy and he's going to go pick her up. And I said, I'm like, is Penelope going to stay with us the whole time? Is she going to stay with her mom some of the time? She doesn't know. She's going to figure it out. I'm like, well, could she decide? <laughs> because we need a bedroom. It's, right. We need to figure out sleeping arrangements. <laughs> I was like, we have a guest. It's like Griswold, you know, like Seriously. plenty of towels, plenty of sheets, plenty of everything. <laughs> well, and you know, and if you think about Griswold and if you think about like 16 Candles and those movies when yeah. their relatives would come visit, the kids would bunk up. Right. Exactly. Try to tell my kids that. Right. I'm like, right. they're all, I'm like, share a bed, get up. And they're like, oh, what? Right. No. They <laughs> are not in any way budging about That's sharing. funny a bed or giving up the sanctuary of their rooms. Right. Absolutely not. I was going to ask you that mom of teenagers, at what point do the, like, what, when does that start of like the sanctuary of their room? Like where they literally don't come out. Oh, um, I, I think middle school, like se- seventh, eighth grade. Mm. Yeah. I mean, mine are, I'm there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he won't come out. I mean, he plays his games and stuff, but like, even if he's not playing, he'll just like hang out in there. Yeah. And I'm like, you got to force him. Yeah, you I do. Force him exactly. Out. I do. Cause it, it gets too comfortable in there. Yeah. M- even when I want to do that, you know exactly. what? I want to do that. Exactly. <laughs> uh, another funny family, uh, little saying of ours is my mom, when we were younger, especially when we were teenagers mm-hmm. and maybe we were like, we had had a fun night the night before, Yeah. you know, my mom would never let us sleep in. She's like new. She had some kind of radar and she would burst into our rooms bright and early mm. on the weekend mornings. And she was like, she would try to pick up our laundry, which was all over the floor. Right. And she would go white things, white things, dark things. And it's like PTSD in my head hearing that my dad will still do it. Really uh, like white things. Oh dark my things, God. She's doing the laundry. Uh, and I was my just mom like, used please to sweep get the out. steps, uh, the wood steps. Like she would sweep. Is it. that loud? Well, where my bedroom was. Mm. And then also like she had slippers on. So she would be like, Skirt, 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 skirt. And oh, then yeah. sweep, sweep, sweep. Oh. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, my mom would come with a full vacuum mm. yeah, yeah. around your bed. <laughs> You're like, no, that, that, it, it, back in our day, there was no privacy of your bedroom. No, never. Your parents just came in yeah. and did anything they wanted yep. to, picked up all your clothes. Yeah. If I tried to do my kids' laundry, which is actually a blessing, they do their own laundry. Yeah, that is awesome. They would will not allow me to, they're like, don't touch my stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll probably, they think I would ruin it, which is probably not oh, bad. That's funny. Um, so no, I'm not. I mean, I guess I'm ready. Sort. I, I'm doing that thing where remember I thought I planned so well, and then Th- Thomas does this worse than anyone. You wait, you wait, you wait, and then you binge shop. Yes. And now there's a like, whole thing about what is it? Stress buying, like yes. you know, and you buy the silliest. Is things. that what you do too, Michael? Yeah. But you, then I'm like, then you have too much stuff. You overdo it. Yeah. 
Well, Michael's yeah. smart. There's things that like he'll buy and he'll be like, oh no, I'll just save that for the birthday. Or oh. I don't do that. I'm like, oh. I can't save that because no. then they'll get it or something. Right. No, you overbuy. And then, so you're supposed to have a budget and you stick to the budget. You, it's like holding the line. Stick, 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 stick. And then I'm like, bloop, never mind. I'm going to buy. I get all the emails yep. and I buy everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I did. I've got like five packages coming today and tomorrow. Yeah, same. <laughs> and then I still have to, do, like, that's why I'm taking Monday off to go Christmas shopping because I'm like, I am not oh. anywhere prepared. And I still have to get a white elephant gift for our holiday thing. Same, actually, same. Oh, you'll die laughing, you guys. I was at, um, we had a winter holiday market at the Three Village Neighborhood House. So cute. <laughs> Which is like part of Long Island life. Right, right. right. You're this at the village. Like... You see everybody mm -hmm. that you know. And it was pouring rain that day, but everybody was in the village at the winter holiday market, which was like all handmade local stuff. So cute. And I'm like, do you guys think, do you think I should get this for the white elephant gift? Do you think anybody would want that? Everyone's like, No. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, all oh, this uh, handmade, like crafty stuff. I'm like, oh, this is cute. And it says Long Island. Do you think? And they were like, stop it. <laughs> Put that down. Oh, man. I'm like, but it's locally made. And uh, you get in the moment, right? right when you're you like do. meeting you get, the like, vendors like and you're the like, Hallmark this movies. is so cute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, and my family was like, go to Nordstrom yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> TJ Maxx. Know, exactly. I was going to say Home Goods. Yeah. Um, it's funny this year because we have a lot more men on I our, know. On I was our squad. That. Yeah. So it, like when we have to, more unisex. Yeah. I know. Because we were always like makeup. Right. Scarves. <laughs> I know. Although Michael would love the makeup. Yeah, that's true. He does his cosplay. Uh, speaking of Hallmark movies. Yeah. We had this incredible blog yeah, on, our, very on our site. Um, just talking about how the... There are towns and villages on Long Island that are like literally Hallmark, Hallmark movies. movies. I mean, that's what we've said for a long time. And I love that Courtney actually did it. Finally, like, thank you, Courtney, for listening right. and doing a blog about it. Because I say it all the time. Long Island is made up of all these little villages that look very New England S. Right. Which is what you see. I mean, they're always like in Connecticut or something. Right. But that's right. really Long Island. Uh, if you look at the Hallmark movies and it's always like a local theater production. Yeah. That needs help. Right. Or there's a Christmas tree farm. Right. Well, it's so cute because we have a ton of them on the blog, like Babylon Village, yes. Port Jeff Village, Northport Cold Village. Cold Spring Harbor. Cold Spring Harbor. I mean, Harbor. I literally bought my Christmas tree <clears throat> from the same place I got it last year, which I love, uh, on the North Fork. Yeah. And it's a chicken farm. I love it. It's like the Long Island poultry. It's so something cute. Something or other. And there's a million places you right. can get your tree. And I bypassed like tons of big lots to Speaking go to this up, one little we place. Were at the shops last week. I was. Did you see that one where it was like a drive-through Christmas yes. tree lot? That's hysterical. Yeah, I'm like that. I almost did that, right? But I'm like, how do you drive through? And look, I don't know. I don't know. I thought I saw that, <laughs> and I was like, I passed it, and I went to my little chicken farm place, which had a small selection, but it was beautiful. Right. I got the most beautiful tree, and I'm like, I love buying it from like the little local farmers. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Which is what makes Long Island so amazing, and so I love that uh, we talked about that because I watched those. Hallmark movies. They're like on repeat. Oh yeah. They start like October 31st in our house. Yeah. We've seen all of them. Yeah. And uh, it's always like that. In fact, when I was in Greenport uh, last week for the LIA meeting afterwards, I went uh, with the North Fork authentic company and their new partner of ours now. And we went to Aldo's coffee shop mm -hmm. and I was laughing. I was just telling them about the Hallmark idea and our blog that we're doing and sure enough, the the owner of the coffee shop comes over to me. He's like adorable. Yeah. And I'm like, this is crazy. He's so cute. M you know, married, Typical, talking yeah. about his wife and everything. But I was like, this is literally the cutest guy. Like owns a tiny little coffee shop. You know, I bought so much coffee. Of course you did. <laughs> I was Support like. Support small business. <laughs> I love it. I'm such a sucker in those situations. I bought, I just, I was, they had like. Um, spy, uh, the Culper spy ring stuff. Oh, so cool. That's what I was trying to buy. I was yeah. trying to buy Culper spy ring, uh, pint glasses for beer and stuff. And oh, my, they're adorable. like, no, stop it. Oh, Get them cute. like a candle or something. Anyway, so that's, I love that. That we yeah. So go on to discoverlongisland.com and read the blog because, and it's also been on our social. If you love those Hallmark movies, yeah. this is where they're based. Yeah. 
Yeah. They're inspired from. I mean, right. It's one. I mean, there was a Dickens festival for God's sake right? in Port Jeff where the whole town dresses up like a Dickens and novel. And the whole town gets involved in this festival, oh like God. from start to finish. It's adorable. Tegan was a uh, host to sing at Danford's that oh, day. I know. I can't and wait to hear these she was dying stories. laughing. She was like, the way people don't break character is wild. Wild. It's <laughs> so like, true. They it come is in. people. She's like, I just don't even, they're like, hello, and they're caroling all the time. And she was like, what is happening? She was just mind blown. <laughs> I love it. That was the first time she did it? Yeah. Oh, my God. Did Kenzie do the princess? No, not yet, because her wisdom teeth, it took her longer to recover. Aww. Her, her whole job chipmunk. was fully bruised. <laughs> yeah. um, so she's finally better. <clears throat> so I don't know what she's doing this weekend. She might do it this weekend. Aww. But um, but no, it, but that was hilarious. Tegan came back like They're not a breaking little like, character. whoa. Well, yeah, people are serious I, did about you see it. Them on, yeah, that's funny. Uh, but speaking of small farms, Hicks, I wouldn't say Hicks is a small farm, but it is a local farm. Hicks Nursery has uh, given us these beautiful poinsettias. Yeah, I know. I heard the story. <laughs> so our taste of Long Island, thank you to Hicks Nursery. Yes. These are gorgeous. Beautiful. I love poinsettias. Mm -hmm. Although Michael came back and said, Correct. According to the experts, yes, who are Hicks Farms, yes. Okay, it's mm -hmm. poinsettia. Yes. Sharon, Sharon wins. Sorry, that's fine. no, that's fine. <laughs> um, so, tell us more about Hicks. So, Sharon. Long Island's premier destination for home and garden since 1853. Whoa. I am not kidding. That's crazy. 170 years, six generations. It's the largest selections of trees and plants on Long Island. It's not just a nursery; it's a whole experience. Yes, and it's located. Uh, in, in Westbury. On Jericho Turnpike in Westbury. Yeah, in Westbury, mm -hmm. um, which is very central. Yeah. It's like low, it's accessible. But it's end cool end. because they do seasonal events such as spring flower show, fall festivals. And right now the magic of Christmas display is on until December 31st with an animated walkthrough Christmas story. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Um, and then kids can get photos with Santa until December 23rd. So this is, this is airing. I gotta on. go there. Michael went to pick up these beautiful poinsettias mm -hmm. and he says like disney I he's know. like it's amazing i love I it i need to go there for the holiday spirit um also i need to do the have you done the drive-through light show yet at uh, jones beach my kids did it's oh, they tradition did? they go with um my old babysitter okay so um because they you know they're they invited us to come yeah right because their tiktok that we did for them has over eight hundred thousand views eight hundred and seventy three thousand wow views. That's amazing. Crazy. And uh, we did a whole LITV episode about right. it and it's like blowing up. Yeah. And they were like, oh my gosh, thank you. And there, as a thank you, we want you guys to come. Oh, that's so and, cute. And uh, I got to figure out a time to come. Well, I've it, never goes, done it. it goes until January 5th, I think. Yeah, but you want to do it. Oh, December 31st. Yeah, no, 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 December okay. 31st. You got to do it before the holidays. <clears throat> you do. You got to get in the festive. This is when you take days off. Yeah, exactly. Hello. Hello. I got to do this. Like, <laughs> your time if off. If I could ever take, instead, I'm working tonight <laughs> and I'm working tomorrow night and. Oh, I have a holiday party to go to. You didn't say no to that one? I didn't say no. There's the only one I'm going to. Oh, okay. okay. There's the only one I said yes to. Okay. It's annual. It's usually at Lisa Black's house. Oh, okay. Lisa Black's doing um, a renovation. Oh. Uh, so now it's at our friend Lou's house. And I can't wait to show you. I think I'm going to wear it to our holiday party too. I got a very special oh, Christmas outfit to wear. It. I know. Because you know what? Why not? Get festive. Right. December 30th oh, okay. is December, the last day to yeah. see the Magic of Lights. Thank you. Magic of Light. Uh, oh, and that's even here too. Um, okay, well, we want to thank Hicks. Is it Hicks Nursery, right? Hicks Nursery, yes. Hicks Nursery in Westbury. Um, these are gorgeous. I love them. I love poinsettias. I love poinsettias too. And um, I think I love them when they, they're they white and like Ooh. the little bit of red on them. Have you ever seen them like that? They're, like, yes, like they're faded. I have. They're so they're pretty. I, and they're so pretty, but you, you know, they, you can't keep them outside because they need to be inside, but then you have also to keep them away from your pets. Yeah. And interesting enough, well, because they're poisonous to pets, right? Is that, some, is that? Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. But interesting enough, you ever watch the garden section on News 12, like the garden yeah. tips? Oh, the gar the garden guy. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. He's also the weather guy yes, too. Yes. Yes. He was telling us, <laughs> he was telling me yeah, <laughs> that these are not flowers, that they're actual leaves. Yeah. Well, it's a plant. 
Yeah? Yeah. I thought they were like a poinsettia flower, but the well, redness so. yeah, are yeah, yeah. leaves. Oh, yeah. No, that makes they're sense. They're not I would not have... flower petals. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that's so interesting. Oh, I love that little garden tip guy. So if you want to be featured on uh, The Taste of Long Island, make sure you email us at spill the tea at discoverlongisland.com. Um, there, what else was I going to tell you about Long Island? We're getting up there. About Long Island news. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, two things. Um... Oh my God, have you seen all the TikToks about the New York Giants? No. Have you seen it? Oh, you have to you have to look for Tommy DeVito. Okay. Is a New York Giant player. And apparently he's like awesome. He's doing okay. great. And I don't know if he's from New York or New Jersey, but he's the New York Giants. Right, right. right. So he's been doing great. And it, <laughs> there's all these TikToks because he lives, he lives with his parents. He's Italian, right? And it was like that guy, Sebastian. A manifesto yes, or something? Yes, he was yes. like, of course he lives with his parents. He's Italian. Where are you going to go, Tommy DeVito? You got all I your meals. See, I think I did see this. Is it the camera? N- the, the, his agent. Oh, okay. No. So, so his dad comes to all of his games. Yes. And his agent comes to his mm-hmm. games. And his agent, everyone says, looks right out of the Godfather. I love it. This guy, he's got the fedora. I he's love got it. all the gold jewelry. Mm-hmm. And there, then there was one podcast with like Eli and uh, Peyton Manning, and they were they were like pretending what the guy was saying. The agent, they're like, "I got a guy. Ah, that's what funny. do you need? I got, I'll take care of that, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, you tell me what you need." And they do, they do this uh, right. Italian thing, and now all the players are doing this. Hey, 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 hey! It's become like this whole thing on, in the stadium. So like, yes. he's in the audience doing yes. this, and like they start doing his it. agent and his dad it. and Tommy DeVito is like a total symbol, love it. like Godfather type character. They're so like only funny. in New York, only in New York, like, and I'm like, course. I love it, I love it. What else? Um, Anything else? So celebrity, really? Yeah. Um, I, am I correct to say that the new Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke movie was filmed on Long Island? Oh my God. So yes, I'm crazy. At, I'm at my conference or my mm-hmm. board meeting and my friend from Texas comes up to me and he goes, my wife and I were just talking about you. And I'm like, okay, tell me why. He goes, we watched the Julia Roberts movie and we want to go to the Hamptons. Wow. He, he, he said, he goes, we're watching it and we're like, oh, that is so beautiful, this place. And then they said, oh, we're in Sag Harbor. And he goes, oh. Sag Harbor, that's where Kristen is. That's oh, where that's Kristen. So and I was funny. like, first of all, the fact that you know that Sag Harbor. Exactly. Thank you for listening to right. all of our stuff. Right. <laughs> uh, Sag Harbor is so precious. And yeah. now everybody was saying they want to come to Long Island. That's awesome. Because they want to go to the Sag Harbor and the Hamptons. Yeah, I got to watch it. I love Have it. I haven't it? seen it yet. I heard it was really good. Oh, I, I'm, it's on my list to see. I had no idea. Um, okay, one more thing. Uh, celebrity, interestingly enough, mm-hmm. I was in Tampa and I was watching the local news. I always watch it when I'm getting ready. And they had this like, you know how they always have like this reporter on your side yes, yeah, for yeah, investigations, yeah, yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. So they had this one on your side and it was this lady who was had an Etsy. <laughs> what are you making fun of me? What? This reporter. Like, the reporter on your side. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, but this lady had an Etsy store and she makes these like votive candle things with mm-hmm. like paper mache kind of things on. I don't know. You Interesting. Know. Some people like it, I guess, yeah. whatever. It's her business. And she... Went to a Luke Combs concert because she's a big fan. Mm-hmm. And then she started make, she's like, Oh, I should make some Luke Combs candles. She makes them for all different people. And she said she sold like, you know, 18, I don't know how many. And uh, she was then sick and she was in the hospital or something. And there was a court hearing where she got sued for $250,000 for, for licensing. <gasps> and it in Illinois, wherever she lives in Illinois, it was like, uh, you don't have to tell the person. You can just email them the court hearing. Oh my god! And it went to her spam. So she didn't even know about it. She came home and all of a sudden she owes $250,000 and she was like crying. And she was like, I don't know. I sold like $355 worth of these. I'll give him the money. I'm sorry. She's like, I didn't know I was doing something wrong. Really Luke Combs? She said, she's like, I'm trying to call. I tried to call his people. So they, the news. So it's so funny. I was watching that and I was like, oh my God, that's so crazy. And I'm sure it's just, uh, you know, something that's patented that that does, you know, he does all over. But um, everyone's like, can you get a hold of him? No. So then I'm on TikTok and there's Luke Combs. And he's like, I'm disgusted. I just saw this news story. I'm so horrified. He's like, this is, this is supposed to be for people that are like major, major corporations selling t-shirts and right, license. Right. It's not supposed to be for the individual woman. And he's like, I heard her Amazon account is locked. So he's like, I'm doubling the amount that she's owed on Amazon. We're dropping the loss. He's like, I just, he's like, I had no idea. I'm so sorry to hear this. And he's totally taking care. He's like, we're doing everything we can to take care of it and get her business back. And I'm like, Aww. I was like, oh my God, way to go to Luke Combs. I'm like, yeah, I, cause I'm like, here I am. Luke Combs, really? You got the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. But I mean, he's like, this isn't supposed to be targeting yeah. individual businesses right, like right, that. Right. So kudos to Luke Combs. I told, I, I wrote him like, I'm a new fan yeah. and I'm going to talk about it on the Long Island Tea Podcast. I love it. Oh, good. Yeah. So way to go. I mean, this poor lady, I'm sure, you know, it's just attorneys yeah. that see anything and they probably... It, but it's just wild. The Luke Combs that- doesn't need to. He's like, I don't need your two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Take it back. Oh, that's good. Um, so that that was really sweet. Should we talk about some events just to throw th- some New things Year's? out there? Okay, yeah. what, what New Year's events are Sharon and I not, not gonna- going to? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to say. Yeah, but you I should. should. I should. You should. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm. You go to bed. <laughs> you go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah, you go to bed. You go to bed. All right. So New Year's. <laughs> yeah. Um, Eat, drink, and be sparkling at Sparkling Point oh. on December 30th. Beautiful. I love that. Beautiful. Um, you can do anti-New Year's Eve party at Mulcahy's on the same day. I was day. wondering what Mulcahy's was yeah, doing. Yeah, they do I some I knew staff. they were going to yeah. do something good. And then on actual New Year's Eve, there's celebrations everywhere, really. But the Fox Hollow, the Garden City Hotel, um, they all do these dining experiences. Uh, Jake's 58. Um, Waterview in Port Jefferson has a New Year's Eve dinner, four course menu with some champagne. Ooh, that sounds nice. Uh, Curry Club at Sagar, we love New Year's love Eve party, that. open bar and buffet there. Oh my god, that's let me awesome. tell you, and that's on the like the rooftop is so beautiful up there. It's awesome. Uh, our very own Long Islander Billy Joel is performing at the UBS Arena. Um, Barron's Cove has their New Year's Eve bash and stay. I love that. And then all the Scotto restaurants are doing dinner reservations and things like that. Um, Blackstone, Insignia, Rare 650, 110, Bijou, Opus, a la carte menu, and chef specials and DJ entertainment. So much to do, all available for you for more information on discoverlongisland.com, as well as it'll be all over our social media, our Instagram, watch our following our TikToks. We have a Long Island Tea Podcast TikTok now. And I love it. Yes. It's coming up in like my, like everywhere. Like Brayden even came to me the other day and he's oh. like, mama, you, you're on, t- on uh, your podcast on TikTok. And I'm like, he's like, oh dear God. <laughs> he's like, it's crazy. I'm like, yeah, it's funny. I know. And, uh, and we have discover Long Island TikTok as well, which I'm loving the way it's like the office. If you, if you want to check it out, it is it's literally hilarious. shows our staff. The one with Courtney's facial expression is hilarious. where she's, where Michael starts, ra- or uh, Nolan starts rapping and then Courtney <laughs> That should have for sure been in our video. I know. It was so funny. The one with the glitter with Shannon. That got 31,000 views. That's hilarious. Isn't that hilarious? I'm yeah. like, that is so funny. It came up on Thomas's feed last night. He was like, what is this? Uh, it's awesome. Our TikToks are doing amazing. Killing it. Love Killing it. it. Um, make sure you follow us. Leave us a five-star review, please, because we still need to stay relevant yes. on the platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, and we will see you next year. Have a wonderful, happy new year. Happy new year. The Long Island Tea Podcast is brought to you by Discover Long Island. For exclusive access to contests and promotions, follow the Long Island Tea Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And for questions, comments, and collaborative inquiries, email spillthetea at discoverlongisland.com.